If you're in the market for a new iPhone, right now in 2021, Apple offers quite a solid lineup when it comes to the choice of iPhones for the very solid price for most of the customers. And that iPhones include iPhone 11, iPhone 12 and iPhone 13. So if you are in the market for buying an iPhone for yourself, make sure to watch this video till the end since we are going to compare these models. And more importantly, we are just not going to recite the specs that you can always check and decide for yourself. Come on, you came to this video for more than that. So I'm going to give you specific use cases and situations in which you want to go for specific models. So let's get to that. And the first iPhone I want to talk about is the iPhone 11, the oldest one already 2019 model. And what do you get with going with iPhone 11? Well, basically you get very solid camera system with night mode, with 4K capability video recording, very solid videos, as well as that snappy and popular A13 Bionic, still very solid processor. On top of that, you get all of that iOS 15 functionality as well as great software support and very solid bar life. The design is kind of new-ish, but not necessarily. A bit later about that. What you are losing when it comes to the comparison, direct comparison between iPhone 11, 12 and 13, you are losing that 5G capability. So if you want to buy your phone for maybe more than two or three years and you want to future proof yourself as much as you can, you gotta go with iPhone 12 and 13 since these models already have 5G that iPhone 11 does not. On top of that, if you want the most camera features out of your iPhone, I mean, if just the great cameras with night mode is not enough, then go for iPhone 12 or 13. We're gonna specify that also later a little bit. But when it comes to iPhone 11, it's already lacking a little bit of the new camera features. These features are like night mode on ultra wide, as well as selfie camera that now iPhone 12 and 13 have. It's also lacking that HDR recording video. I know how important that is for you. From what I can tell you, it may not be a killer feature that you will not necessarily, you know, go for newer iPhone because of that. But still, it is something that you may want to care about. So I'm mentioning on top of that, the lens is a little bit older as well as the computational photography behind that photos of iPhone 11. And as I said, these are still very solid photographs and videos. They just lack a little bit of the newer features like newer smart HDR and newer photos processing compared to this iPhone like 12 and 13. You also get a little bit older design. I mean, it's still theoretically the all screen design, but in this bigger bezels, you have LCD display that's less sharper as well as less colorful. So if your goal is to go for the best possible display and you know that you want to have the best contrast, color accuracy, as well as sharpness, then you're going to go with either iPhone 12 or 13. But iPhone 11 already has a solid screen, but you got to realize that it's an older technology LCD with backlight, which basically means that the screen is going to be accurate. It's going to be fairly sharp. It's going to be fairly bright but it's not gonna be as good as the screen on newer iPhones. So how much of a big deal is that? Well, right now, most phones run that OLED display, so you're gonna be behind that with iPhone 11. So you gotta be careful with that if you are choosing a display. LCD is easy on your eyes. It's a still a very solid screen with decent aspect ratio, but you just gotta realize that if you wanna have the best of the best displays, you gotta go for the newer models. When it comes to the speed, as I said, you do get that A13 Bionic chip with iPhone 11, which is still a very snappy process. You're still gonna get tons of support left, a couple of years easy. But again, if you wanna have the snappiest possible experience, the best possible experience, you either gonna go for iPhone 12 or 13. When it comes to the bar life, surprisingly, iPhone 11, probably thanks to that LCD screen, has a very solid bar life. I mean, most people say it's overall better than iPhone 11's bar life. I don't think it's gonna be better than the 13's, since now the 13 has even more efficient screen as well as a bigger battery, as well as more efficient processor. And Apple themselves declared on their website that iPhone 13 has an overall better bar life compared to the iPhone 11. But still, that iPhone 11 is gonna give you a very solid battery life, so you have no reasons to worry when it comes to that. Unless you're buying a used model, then you gotta make sure that the battery capacity is like above 90%, maybe 92, 93. That would be pretty decent for you. Decent starting point when it comes to buying iPhone 11. And now a little bit more tricky comparison because we're including iPhone 12 and 13. 
And as I said, that 12 is a big upgrade compared to the iPhone 11. You have that better OLED screen, you get that more efficient and faster A14 Bionic chip. It's still a very rock solid processor. I mean, it's not like A14 is a slouch, but that A14 is still based on a 5 nanometer architecture, which means basically it's the newest architecture you can get. It's a very, very solid processor, still top notch when it comes to that. You also get that newer design, 5G. Yeah, the notch is still pretty much the same as it was on iPhone 10 back in the days, and it's not as shrinked as you have on iPhone 13, but still, it's a newer design. The phone itself is lighter, it's smaller, even though it retains basically the same screen size. As I said, the screen itself is OLED. You get these camera improvements like better overall aperture, better computational photography, HDR recording video, light mode on all cameras, as well as that 5G that's gonna future proof you very decently for the future. So iPhone 12 is a very solid upgrade to compare to the iPhone 11. So if you wanna step your game a little bit more, actually not a little bit more, quite noticeably to be honest, you wanna have very solid OLED display, newer design, 5G, future proof yourself even more and have a very snappy experience with that A14 Bionic, the iPhone 12 is still an option to consider since it's a very solid phone. The only drawback is that it still has 64 GB of base store just like iPhone 11. And with the 11, it wasn't much of a problem because you can just step up the price for 128 GB and easy. The price difference is still a lot. So if you don't have that much to spend, the 11 is still a great option. But with that iPhone 12, if you step up the game to 128 GB, you're approaching iPhone 13 territory and it's only a $50 difference. And with iPhone 13, you get smaller notch, you get even more improvements to the camera, you get A15 processor as well as 128 GB as a base storage. So it's only a $50 difference. On top of that, iPhone 13 also has a better battery life and brighter screen. So if you want to compare these two, I would say that if you can get iPhone 12 for like, let's say 700 bucks for 128 gigabytes, it's a very, very solid deal. And if you are fine with 64 gigabytes, again, the 12 is a very solid option. But if you are considering already more storage, then I think it would be worth stepping up your game a little bit and going for iPhone 13 since it offers quite a noticeable upgrade. It's a newer phone and for $50, I mean, come on, definitely worth getting iPhone 13 in that case. So to sum up, if you wanna go for the cheapest possible option, you go for iPhone 11, but you gotta be aware of the fact that you have older design, thicker bezels, worse quality display, the camera is not advanced on, as on the newer models. You still get a great speed and the same amount of RAM as other iPhones, so there's no problem when it comes to that. The battery life is still very decent, but you are losing that 5G that has the potential to future-proof you in a great way. Then again, if you can step up your game a little bit, you get that iPhone 12 with big improvements over iPhone 11. As I said, 5G bare display, newer design, it's lighter. Overall, more advanced, bare phone, definitely offering some better value compared to the 11. I mean, not necessarily the value, but rather the upgrades it provides with the extra price. And on top of that, if you wanna go for more storage with iPhone 12, then maybe you should consider getting iPhone 13, since the price difference is really not huge whatsoever, and you get very noticeable upgrades with even a better battery life. Now you have all day battery life with iPhone 13, better brightness, better cameras, all the new features with the newer phone, so definitely the option to consider. And if you are still in the dark, you are not sure which phone you should get, make sure to ask me in the comments. I will gladly analyze your use case and definitely tell you which phone is for you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to press the like button, smash that subscribe button for content like that and much more. And hopefully, until next time.